So I'm a little bit confused with people using the term build a healthier relationship with food. Let's just break that down. Relationship, a partnership of relations, of people relating to each other. When there's a rapport, when there's reciprocation. So you can build a healthier relationship with your cat, with other people and with yourself, first and foremost. I understand what people mean, but really food is a substance. We consume substances to get an emotional reaction, to make us feel something, whatever substance that is. For us who have all kinds of different issues with food, whether we don't eat enough, we eat too much, we have a relationship with that substance because it makes us feel good. And then we feel guilty about it. That goes into emotional issues with ourselves. Why don't you look at that void of what you're trying to fill and what you're trying to feel? And that will be the answer to why you're having relationships with a food in the first place. Um, when I was having such a relationship with my anorexia, trying not to eat, I was completely unavailable to having relationships with people because my head was constantly with that cycle. When did I eat? What was the last thing I ate? And when am I gonna eat again? Speaking to the food, considering the food's feelings, having relationships with exercise. Should I exercise now? Should I exercise later? And you don't even have to have a clinical eating disorder to have that dialogue in your head. I remember when I was already healing, at some point I said, I'm really okay with the food. I'm just watching my weight. My best friend said, why are you watching it? I said, so I don't gain weight. And she said, but what kind of watching do you do? Do you stand on the side and don't let your body do what it does? You kind of watch it to make sure it does what you want it to do? Is it a control thing? Even when I was not having a full-blown eating disorder, I was still constantly having a dialogue. Part of my journey was to eliminate any kind of relationship I have with my food. So I would veto the whole thing completely and say, why even have a relationship with food at all? What will probably get you to a healthier place is investing the time in your relationship with yourself, in your relationship with other people, in the good ones and investing in the bad ones as well and trying to figure out what's going on there. And why do I feel the need to fill and feel through food? So that would be my tip of the day. Good luck.